Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is Simultaneous Equations, part of my IGCSE exam question series. There are some straightforward questions which you need to know how to do at the start. There's a tricky question at the end. Make sure you check that out. Let's get it. Okay, first one is the easiest possible type because the coefficients are already matched up perfectly for us. And because their signs are different, in order to cancel, I need to add those two equations together. 3x plus 7x is 10x. The plus 5y will cancel with the minus 5y. And 6 plus minus 11 is minus 5. Divide through by 10, this gives me that x is minus 0 0.5. I then substitute in back into one of my original equations. Let's pick the one at the top. So I get three lots of minus 0 0.5 plus 5y equals 6. That's minus 1.5 plus 5y equals 6. Add the 1.5 to both sides will give you 7.5. And then divide through, that will give me 1.5. So we have minus 0 0.5 and 1.5. Okay, and then top tip is to use your calculator to your benefit and check to see if it's right. So you go to simultaneous equations, two unknowns. You type in that it was 3, 5, and 6, and then it was 7, minus 5, and minus 11. And you have minus 1, uh, minus 1 half, and 1.5. Perfect, it works. Okay, next question. The coefficients are not lined up neatly, so we need to multiply at least one of the two equations. And in this instance, I'm going to multiply um, by two to line up the y's. So I need to times this equation here by two and keep the top one the same. So it's x plus two y is equal to minus 0 0.5. And then I have 6x minus 2y is equal to 32. The two uh, y's are the different signs, so we need to add the two equations. That will give me 7x, the y's will cancel, and that will give me 31.5. I'll then go to my calculator and I will do... Um, I will do 31.5 divided by 7, and that will give me 4.5. So x is equal to 4.5. I'll then use the top one to substitute back in to find y. Minus 4.5 to both sides. And then divide through by 2, it gives me minus 2.5. So I have 4.5 and minus 2.5. And I'll just show you one more time how we can use our calculators to check. We go down into equation, simultaneous, two unknowns, and we do 1, 2, minus 0.5, 3, minus 1, and 16. And we get 4.5 and minus 2.5. Okay, next question. Again, we don't have them lined up. This time I'm going to line up the x's. So I need to times the bottom one by 4. Keep the top one the same. And times the bottom one by 4. So times every term by 4. Now this time, because we're trying to eliminate the x's, the signs are the same. They're both positive. So I need to subtract my two equations. The four x's will cancel. We'll have 2 minus minus 16. That's 18, because the 2 minus to make a plus. And then we'll have 9 minus 36, which is minus 27. So I'll go to my calculator, and I will do um, minus 27 divided by 18 to get minus 1.5. And I will substitute it back into the top equation. So I'll get 4x plus 2 lots of minus 1.5. So that's 4x 
minus 3. So 4x is equal to 12, so x is equal to 3. So we have 3 and minus 1.5. Okay, slightly trickier now because we need to um, line up x or y, but we can't do that by just multiplying one line. So we're going to multiply both lines. So I'm going to look at the x's and I'm going to times the top line by 5, which will give me 10x plus 35y is equal to 85. And the bottom line I'm going to multiply by 2, which is going to give me 10x plus 6y is equal to minus 2. Now because the signs are the same of these x's that we've lined up, I need to subtract my two equations. 35y minus 6y is 29y and 85 minus minus 2 is 87. So we go to our calculator and we do 87 divided by 29 and we get 3. So y equals 3. We then pick the top equation or the bottom, but I'm going to go with the top in this case. And I substitute 3 in for y. This gives me that 2x plus 21 is equal to 17. So 2x is equal to minus 4. So x is equal to minus 2. And we are done. And here is the final question, and it's a tricky one. It says that Calvin has 12 identical rectangular tires, tiles. Sorry, He arranges the tiles to fit exactly around the edge of the shaded rectangle, blah, blah, blah. Work out the area of the shaded rectangle. Okay, so give this question a try, um, and here is the solution. I would label the tiles, which are identical, as x and y. So x for the width and uh, y for the length. So if I go around the shape, that would be an x, that would be a y, that would be a y, that would be a y, and that would be a y. And over here, that would be a y, a y, and an x. And then we can set up uh, two equations. So the first equation will look along this blue line here. And that will tell us that 1x plus 2y is equal to 67. And then we're going to look along this yellow line here. And that tells us that 1x plus 4y is equal to 123. And look at that. That's a simultaneous equation. We can subtract the two equations. Um, the bigger equation is on top, so I'm just going to subtract upwards. So it's 4y minus 2y is 2y. And 123 minus 67 is 56. So this gives us that the length of the um, tile is 28. Subbing back into the top equation, I get x plus 2 times 28 is equal to 67. So x will be 67 minus 2 times 28. So 67 minus 2 times 28, and that's 11. Okay, so I've got to work out the area of the shaded rectangle. So the shaded rectangle is the total rectangle. So the area of the shaded is the total rectangle, which is 67 multiplied by 123 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the smaller rectangles, which we know are x times y. So 11 times uh, 28. So I would do 6, 7 times 1, 2, 3. And then I would subtract 12 times... 11 times 28 and I would get the shaded area is equal to 4, 5, 4, 5 and that will be centimetres squared. Okay, that's simultaneous equations done. If you liked or if you found that uh, useful, please do like the video, subscribe and try the next topic.